I'm going to be doing a drop into his natural. I have eight roaches, three overlords. It's always good to have a buffer overlord to kind of tank some shots. Um, and, you know, this is just a minor little annoyance in case he's in the wrong position. As I'm moving across, I'm actually hitting unload all, which is F for me, and clicking on the overlord. This allows the overlords to actually drop the roaches and spreads them out. And as you can see, you know, I can, uh, you know, target down a couple of probes, no problem, no problem. And was going to be super annoying uh, with some burrow here. Um, which means, you know, if my opponent does not leave all his stalkers here or doesn't have detection for some reason. Hint, hint. Go ahead and move those, please. Um, you know, I can then be super annoying, get uh, some probe kills as he's not on the map. Um, and, you know, obviously I'd wait for him to be further away, save this for a golden opportunity. But that is a great way to employ drops. Now, if you want to go ahead and replenish that mineral line for me, good sir. This is a technique we call carpet bombing. Um, and it is actually extremely potent. Um, give me just a moment to set this up. And essentially what you want to do is just drop bane links into the mineral line in the same fashion we just did. Uh, depending on whether or not you think his army is actually uh, going to, you know, be there to do anything uh, to, to stop the, the attack, you can, you know, mix in some normal units uh, completely up to you. Um, this will allow the Bane Links to bruise the units and the rest to clean them up. Um, if his army is going to be there, that's not going to be as effective, but you can spread them out if so desired. Alrighty. And this, my friends, is what we call carpet bombing. 